The talks are taking place in the truce village of Panmunjom between North and South Korea. Representatives from both sides of the divided country, as well as the United States, are taking part in the meeting of the Armistice Committee, which formed at the end of the Korean War in 1953. The current session is already stalled over joint U.S. and South Korean military exercises, which the North have branded preparations for war. The Americans are clearly losing their patience with what they consider obstructionist tactics. Once again, you have spent the last few weeks assembling a series of incidents, some real and some contrived, to present at this meeting. The ultimate aim of these talks is a summit between the two Korean leaders. But with North Korean President Kim Il-sung insisting no direct talks are possible until U.S. troops pull out of the South, there's little reason to believe that such a summit is in the offing. At Seoul's universities, new students gain a first-hand knowledge of political protest. They want to choose their own study programs and they don't want to complete compulsory military training. Their now regular protests demand an end to the presence of U.S. forces in South Korea. An effigy of President George Bush is ridiculed. South Korea's own No Tae U is considered a traitor by these students for his insistence that each of them takes part in team spirit exercises with the resident Americans. Effigies of the two leaders are ritually burned. No Tae U says the campuses are hotbeds of communist propaganda. His reaction to the student unrest is to insist they study the ideological differences between the two careers. The students respond by staging more demonstrations more often, arming themselves for the inevitable confrontation with South Korea's riot squads. They say they're making the most of their military training.